Sorry, I was talking to your mom. <laughs> I'm kidding. I wanted to bring on a joke and do some light humor to start this video. And it's important that you use text messaging the right way, setting boundaries and all the things in between. So today's video is gonna be talking about SMS marketing and how you can use it to capture more customers. We're gonna make this a little uh, less formal of a video. In this video, I'm gonna show you the power of SMS, but first you need to understand what SMS marketing is. And it's just the technical term for text message marketing. So there's three different types of text message marketing. You have direct, you have group, and you have mass. Let me say those one more time. Hopefully you're writing these down. You have direct, which is what I just did. You have group, which can be a group message like I have with some of my team members for my Windows business or you can do mass text messaging, which is very common for businesses to use, to get reviews, to give out offers and all that fun stuff. So those are the three that I wanna set the precedence for you for first. And these are three common ways that businesses use to grow their customer base. So with that all being said, if you're finding this content helpful, if this is the kind of stuff that you're looking for, definitely hit that like button, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, cause I got a lot of fun great content coming your way. Now, the second piece that I wanna get into are the three things that you need to note and that you need to know when it comes to text message marketing that are gonna really validate why it's so important for you to start doing SMS marketing within your business. Now, the first stat is absolutely mind blowing. I think you would probably know that the stat is high, but I don't know if you thought or know that it is this high. 95% of text messages that are sent out are opened within how many minutes do you think? I want you to put a guess down below in the comments. How many minutes do you think a text message just takes to average text message takes to get read? Is it five minutes? Is it one minute? Is it 10 minutes? What do you think? The answer is three minutes. Yes, 95% of text messages, and I used to think it was a higher number, and I think it was at one time, but 95% of text messages are opened within the first three minutes. That means that people are seeing your stuff. When you send a message, they're going to get it. That is a really high level of visibility. Emails never get that kind of visibility. So it's really important to note and something to think about when it comes to text message marketing. Now, text messages per month. I'm curious, how many text messages a month do you think the average person sends? I know for myself, when I went to go click inside of my text messages earlier to see if I could just delete them all at once, I have 1,675 text conversations in my phone right now. Those are individual conversations. That's a lot of conversating. The truth is, when it comes to calls versus text, most Americans, I'm speaking specifically about Americans, text twice as much as they call. I'd love to do the research and see how much that is worldwide, but that would be take a long time. But at least on the American side, I can tell you that Americans text message twice as much as calling. So this is a big deal. If you're trying to reach your customers, build relationships, build rapport and nurture, I'm finding myself more common, more often having to message with my clients via text, back and forth via doing phone calls. And it can be helpful sometimes. It can be a little bit daunting sometimes when I'm stuck behind my text messages, but you need to set boundaries. And that's a big part of why I wanted to talk to you guys about today as well. You're gonna use text messaging in three ways within your business. One for nurturing, two for prospecting, and three for loyalty. Let's first talk about the nurturing aspect. Now, when it comes to nurturing, you're not just gonna generally just send them text messages randomly. That doesn't happen that often. They're typically gonna text you and you're gonna respond back and all of a sudden that string will start to begin. That conversation will start to build from there. I want you to set boundaries at the very beginning. Say, hey, I'm available via text Monday through Friday, nine to five. If they text you at eight o'clock, they should not expect you to answer your text messages at eight o'clock at night. As a business owner, I'm a little, I'm a little torn on that. <laughs> I always have these mess ups in my videos, but we're just gonna roll with it. As a business owner, I feel like one of the things that sets you apart is being able to offer that high level of service, but it's not realistic, especially if you have a family to be answering text messages at 8 p.m. If you're a single person going to college and you're doing graphic design and you feel like it's the right thing to answer your text messages at 8 p.m. or on a weekend, by all means do that. But for the average family man like myself or family woman, I really wanna encourage you to set those boundaries when it comes to text messaging. Now, the second thing here is prospecting. I would not recommend you doing prospecting, cold prospecting to, with text messages. You wanna go after your warm prospects. So the way you can do that is by getting an email list together 
and sending emails and say, hey, text me on my private line. And you can set up a dedicated line where you can text message back and forth with people. There's a bunch of different programs out there now. Community is one of them where you can text back and forth with those people, but they already know who you are. Don't just cold prospect people and cold text them unless you have some sort of familiarity or know somebody close to them in their business or in their life. This is really important because people are just gonna shut you down and block you and say, don't text me again or remove me from your list. The third thing that I talked about is loyalty. And this is really, really important. You can do random text messages for loyalty. So if you're just you know, feeling generous and you wanna put out an offer, you do a random offer, you can do it like that. The other way is having special events, whether it's their birthday. If you sent me a text message on my birthday, and I had never heard from you before in terms of sending me a text message, just I would you would have my attention. Like, who is this, right? If I didn't have you saved in my phone. So it's gonna start a conversation. And a lot of success behind sales is starting conversations. So you can use it for loyalty, for rewards, for giving people, asking people for reviews. It's part of the nurturing and also, you know, a little bit part of the loyalty side, but getting reviews, getting rewards, giving out offers to people who already know you is a really great way to get more sales and to get more business coming through the door. So if you're not using text messaging inside of your business, I wanna encourage you, you should be doing that. Now, a lot of people call me on the phone still and I send them to voicemail because I'm in a meeting or I'm recording a video like this and it goes directly to my voicemail, which is not set up. And a lot of people tell me all the time, man, why don't you have your voicemail set up? It's unprofessional. You know what? If it's that important, they'll text me. And I usually do an auto reply to people that says, please text me. But because I'm always busy in consults and doing videos. So don't feel bad if you hate voicemail because I hate voicemail myself. I'm not a fan of it. I think that the technology has advanced way past voicemail and way past mailboxes. I would love to save the paper. I don't know about you, but I don't want to harp on this too much. I just want to encourage you to do random text messaging. Also do some special event stuff like on holidays and, and Christmas and birthdays and anniversaries, things like that. When someone's been with you for a year, just send them a nice text message say, hey, just wanted to send you this message and say thank you for working with me. It's been a year that we've been working together. People are gonna notice that. You're just going the extra mile for people and text message is gonna allow you to do that a lot easier than picking up the phone and calling them. That's what I wanted to leave with you. SMS is a super powerful tool. Text message marketing is a super powerful tool. You can do it direct, you can do group, you can do mass. You wanna make sure that you're, you understand the data and how important it is and that you use it for those three ways. So I wanna remind you as well that down in the description below, there is a link where I wanna personally invite you to join the Instagraphics Pro Network. It's a community of the best designers on the planet that are focused on being three-dimensional. And what I mean by three-dimensional is not 3D art, but health, wealth, and relationships. Becoming a well-rounded designer. This is very important because if you don't have your health, what good is money, right? So I wanna invite you down there, click the link below, make sure you fill out all the information if you wanna get in or I won't let you in. It's just how it goes, we want the best of the best. And I look forward to seeing you guys there. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boysell. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. And as always, keep looking up.